Hi there. My name is Jacob Norris, and I'm a 3D environment artist working in games and films. Some of you may know me by the name of Pure Polygons. Today I'm here to share with you some information about USD. Let's figure this thing out together. So what is USD? Well, USD is a universal scene descriptor format created by Pixar to allow for the collaboration of hundreds of different artists working in all kinds of different programs. We're all familiar with file types like OBJ or FBX, .mb for Maya or .max for 3ds Max, .uasset for the Unreal Engine. The list goes on. So this is what USD is solving for us. It's helping to free us of all these file types by having only this one single universal scene descriptor format of USD. It makes life way easier, to put it simply. Imagine a file type that contains all of your character rig information, compositional data and Omniverse, software-specific modifiers in Blender or 3ds Max, shader assignments in Unity or UE4, and it can contain all of this data in a single file without disrupting the parts of the data that are read in the other programs. Well, that exists now. It's a USD. There's no more converting to different file types or exporting from one program to another. You just open up a USD file in a supported software suite, make the edits to it, make the changes you need, save it, and open that exact same file in the next program that you need to use. And that's just the beginning of how powerful this file type is. For the more tech-savvy group of artists or developers, USD is also an API, or an application programming interface. So you can actually open a USD file in something like Notepad++ or whatever API editor and dive right into it. Any of the code stored inside of it from all the different software suites is completely human readable. Edit the transformation data, MDL material assignments, write custom MDLs, whatever you like. Now, I'm less familiar with this aspect myself, since uh, I'm an artist, I personally don't do any scripting in this sense, but it's great for tech artists, engineers, and those that are capable of using it in this way. For those of you that had seen the presentation I gave in uh, 2021 at Adobe Max, you also know how powerful USD is for collaborating between different artists. So. While working on Marbles, another artist and myself were working on the same USD file inside of Omniverse in real time, from across the world. He was in Europe and I was in California. We had Omniverse open and he was moving lights around in the scene and I was able to see it updating instantaneously inside of Omniverse Create on my end. We were working on the same scene together and seeing each other's changes happen as we made them. <laughs> now. Just imagine this not only across the world among artists, but across different softwares as well, like Maya, Omniverse, Blender, and so on. It's a really exciting concept, and it's actually happening right now. There's one last thing I wanted to go over before finishing this up, because you may also see a few different file types for USD out there, so let's go ahead and clear that up now too. What's the difference between USDA and USD? So a USD file is a binary file, and that means that it's basically just a bunch of jumbled computer language that we can't understand if we were to open it up in something like a text editor. That's because it's compressed. It's saving on storage and making it easier for us to collaborate across internet connections and needing to transfer data a lot faster, basically. And so a USDA can read and write all the same data. It's essentially exactly the same as a USD file, except when you open it in an API or a text editor, it's human readable now. So it's an uncompressed text version of USD files. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this allows you to write custom MDLs, uh, edit transform data, do things like that. But it also may make it more difficult for you to work in real time over an internet connection if you're working with an uncompressed file with really heavy scenes. So both file types can still be open in any software though. It's a standard USD file. Uh, and if you're ever interested in visualizing the difference for yourself, just open them both up in, in Notepad uh, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Another file type you might see is USDZ. 
And these files are basically zipped versions of UST files. So it's a container for collected files of meshes, textures, or anything connected and linked up to what your USD file might be referencing, including other USD files. So if you go out there and look right now, you'll see that USD is becoming more and more widely adopted by so many different software types, and I personally believe it's the future of computer graphics. It has already shown great promise for collaboration and connectivity at Pixar, and even within NVIDIA on the different projects being worked on there. Companies like Unity and Epic have already integrated USD into their engines, and it's even supported now by Blender and Apple, who have begun integrating it into their own apps. Adoption of USD is already happening, and its popularity will only continue to grow over time, so I suggest you check it out now before you start falling behind. There are already many great examples you can download on the NVIDIA website at usd.nvidia.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.